Hi Lamai, today we are going to start our next chapter, teach the learning curve theory. Right. So we are moving to our <coughs> learning curve theory chapter. So we want to know what is learning curve theory, why learning curve theory is important, so how learning curve theory will apply to your examinations. So those kind of things are very important, right? So here uh, this chapter will be tested in your examination with uh, link with some other questions such as uh, pricing, your variance analysis, your standard costing question, or uh, either it can be linked to your budgeting question as well. learning curve theory paadama kochchara vedagadda saha me paadama link in puluwang anith areas manwadi kela right so we'll start so this is our chapter contents so here you can see uh, we are initially going to discuss about the introduction part about learning curve theory why learning curve theory is important where it is applicable so those kind of things we are going to learn at the initial part then we are going to discuss about what are the methods that we can use to learn about the learning curve theory so here mainly we are going to uh, discuss about three methods method one it is tabular approach so here we are using a table and uh, here we are using some criteria using this criteria how we are going to find the learning curve impact so we'll discuss that one then method number two the graphical approach using a graph we are showing how the learning curve impact is third method we are going to use the algebraic approach or formula approach uh, which is the method we are using most in your examinations so that is our formula method right then we are going to discuss about the relevance of learning curve effects in management accounting so how we can use the learning curve theory in our management accounting what are the practical applications so those kind of things we are going to talk finally we are going to talk about the limitations of learning curve theory what are the uh, drawbacks in learning curve theory right so this is the introduction part so learning curve theory applies to situations where the workforce as a whole improves in efficiency with experience the learning effect or learning curve effect describes the speeding up of a job with repeated performance right so here if you analyze this definition you can see learning curve theory applies to situation where the workforce as a whole improves in efficiency with experience learning curve theory how our labor performance improves with their experience which means if an employee doing the same job again and again which means the nature is uh, let's say repetitive so if any employee is doing the same job again and again here we are saying each, uh, that particular employee's performance will get improved which means uh, let's say the first product he is produced within five hours let's say this is a bigger product so he consumed five hours to produce first product so when he producing more and more let's say he's producing now 10 units now he's producing 50 units now he's producing 100 units so for first units he consumed five hours but when his production is getting more we are saying he is learning about that particular process as a result the time will get reduced which means for first unit he is taking five hours for 10th unit sometimes it, it can be four and a half hours for 50th units it can be four hours for 100th unit it can be three hours likewise Nevata nevata kirima tulin, ya a process second iganagana, a hinda pikirma, me sevekia, me process second iganagani matulin, kalia dukaragani me hekia vatira. Right. So what I make a bit of the cut in your right. 
so here i'll take on practical example so here you can see why learning curve theory is important so here i have taken one example is standard cost of a product so you can see how we are computing a standard cost of a product so here you can see uh, for this particular product we need 3 kilograms of material per kilogram you want to pay 15 rupee so for one unit the cost will be 45 from direct material so direct labor you can see 2 hours rate is per labor hour 10 rupee so you can see 20 per unit so direct other cost 5 and other absorbed overheads 10 so you can see total cost is 80 means amanya unit take a khadanyan piriwe rupiya lasso wai hari then methane di koi avastha di the bit learning curve theory ak vada gatwin so here you can see for our first unit for our first unit how many hours we needed we needed two hours right so two hours into 10 20 so here you can see for the first units our cost is 80 I thought a unit unit take other the water and cost take a mile my ass over I thought a hate to a water labor was they got gear right so why we need to compute our cost for our Indian valuation purposes as well as our pricing purposes so here you can see to decide our selling price let's say markup is 10 percent so our cost is 80 markup is 10 percent so profit will be 10 so if we added the profit to our cost you can see our selling price will be 88 so some earning me bar me thangapi gwani rupiya la su water cost ka su hai la bi atai ekonomi la rupiya la su water so this is for first unit no so here you can see this is for first unit palavini ek 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 rupiya la su wak diya la bi atai me la su atai so when that particular employee is producing this product again and again let's say now he is producing 50 units let's say now he is producing 50 units so here we are saying let's say now he is producing 100 units let's say now he is producing 200 units so in learning code theory lamai you can see when an employee is doing the same job again and again which means his uh, job nature is repetitive we say with his experience he is learning about the process as a result what we can do we can reduce the time consuming per unit so so here learning curve applies only for this particular labor labor requirement right it won't apply for this material requirement when we produce in first unit we need three kilograms if we produce in 50 units means obviously we need 15 to 3 which means we need 150 kilograms so if you are producing 50 units means per unit we need two labor hours for 50 units we need hundred labor hours right so here per unit five rupee cost is there so that is not relevant here the main part the labor cost will get impact here you can see if we assume in a normal condition per unit we need two labor hours which means for 50 units we need how many labor hours 100 for one unit we need two labor hours for 100 units we need how many labor hours we need 200 labor hours for one unit we need two labor hours which means for 200 units we need how many labor hours we need 400 labor hours there on lamai api eka unit ekkata labor hours deyak kena kiyala hituwa unit 50 kata api labor hours kiyak kona de 100 ya unit C ya kedu api none labor hours de 100 ya unit de 100 ya kedu api none labor hours 400 ya apita 
here you can see if we produce one unit we need 150 kilo if we produce one unit we can say we need three kilograms if we produce 50 units we need 150 kilograms if we produce 300 units uh, if we produce 100 units we need 300 kilograms if we produce 200 units means we need how many kilograms 600 kilograms so we are seeing the le learning curve theory will apply for this labor related cost sometimes our other variable cost can be linked with our labor hours sometimes here the uh, let's say this is direct variable let's say this is other so sometimes this also can be linked with our labor hour rate so here in this case the labor cost and the direct variable cost other variable cost also will be have an impact from learning curve theory sometimes the learning curve theory only applicable for our labor cost if other variable costs also link with this labor rate means it also will get impacted right so here in this example this direct material cost won't change so it is constant for one unit three kilograms for 50 it is 150 for 100 units it is 300 kilogram for 200 units it is 600 kilograms so when you say that you learning curve theory ke apply when you direct labor cost variable cost ka labor hours ek link karala tibbo theka wenas wenawa right etokota samanyen api hedu ek ekata paya dekak na 50k hedu paya 100ai 100k hedu paya 200ai 200k hedu paya 400ai but if we apply the learning curve theory this time will get reduced that is the learning curve theory so here we are saying when this employee doing the same job again and again what will happen this time consumption will get reduced i thought me learning curve theory can apply within the situation learning curve theory can apply in the beginning of my me call it a do in no one a palin unit to get up at the king had an okay yeah panna had an okay and a panna smart me in the other which means he learned about this particular process which means he can reduce the time so here let's say <coughs> the learning rate rate is 80 percent so so here just you assume right <coughs> so here in my this example I am saying if we produce in first unit he need two hours but if we produce in 50 units per unit he need only if we produce in 50 units he need only 80 hours I am saying here to produce 100 units he need 160 hours to produce this 200 units he need only 320 hours so which means you can see per unit per unit time consumption here Okay, we'll take this example here you can see here you can see now we need only 1.6 hours per unit so here if we produce first unit we need two hours but if we produce 50 units we can finish this particular work within 80 hours which means per unit we need only 1.6 hours which means per one unit we took two hours for when we are producing our 50th units we can produce one unit 
for this particular time which means here 2 hours here 1.6 hours which means the time has reduced because of the learning curve so here this time is reduced by 0.4 that is our learning curve impact right so that is one simple example I have taken to explain what is the impact of this learning curve theory but when you are going by method to other methods so we can learn it easily right so here learning curve theory here this is one simple example so a standard costing of a product I have explained earlier so here you can see learning curve theory will be applied only for this particular labor related cost items so here in this example only for direct labor if this direct other also linked to this labor was means it also will get impacted so in this example only this direct labor cost right so here the labor <coughs> the learning curve theory can be applied in these scenarios right this condition should be there at that point we can apply the learning curve theory so here you can see the process should be largely based on labor effort which means this particular process should be labor oriented labor oriented very poor my labor you are gonna be process a corona yam ni avasta with the pita learning curve theory accused corona for you then if it is brand new or relate relatively short-lived process or product at that point we can apply this learning curve theory because the learning curve theory won't be there for a long period so it, it is short-lived period and for the brand new products we can expect this thing because for the brand new things the particular employees have a lot of to learn because the process is new so there is a learning opportunity so if they are learning this new process means they can reduce the time when the time passes of the alut product account net alut product account no card in a line me say you come me out process again again no one again again even to link a letter and I get a decal you are gonna pull up with another partner product and I had any a key somewhere to then learning impact in a natural latin pull on a key again again in a karate learning curve theory can not run our stock you know again if I don't need to get a paper high they when you need to get a young guy not to do you know a man again let's see this year home again some are you to tune Pansi ini unit tegar ada hadan pulang payah dekki. Paling ini unit tegar payah bahagi. Kita pansi ini unit tegar hadan ni payah dekki mana pulang. Namut, itu ni niha tegar. Aha, adu koraga ni me sedu ini naya. Muka tapi kita make steady state tegar ena gila. So we we are saying this particular learning curve theory will come to a steady state after certain situation. So those things we are going to learn later in this chapter. So when a repetitive task so here the main condition should be a repetitive task so the particular employee should do the same job again and again then only this learning curve theory will be applied so if he is doing different task means the today he is doing a different job tomorrow he is doing another job which means there won't be any learning curve impact but if any employee doing the same job again and again at that point we can expect a learning curve theory impact so here we are assuming day by day this particular performances get improved which means the employee is learning and his time is reducing so here we are assuming there is incentive for staff to improve there is an in incentive for staff to improve which means we are assuming the staffs are motivated and we are giving incentives so as a result what will happen staffs will work in a motivated manner which means he is working more better tomorrow day by day he is increasing his efficiency and further we are assuming there won't be any staff turnovers so there will be low staff turnovers so in name to slag on a minute in a gala pizza no more this stuff like we're not still i can at least stop lying in i can a up to learning code area analyze karana baby with an assume can no staff to go in a scene in a at time is tough lying in a gana do it मुख्य दे एम्प्लॉयज़ ला पार्ने एम्प्लॉयज़ ले इन्ना इन्ना तमा ये आला टा लर्निंग कर्व इम्पैक्ट का वैडिंग यूज़ करना पुलवा मुख्य दे ये आला पार्ना या मेक करने ना गाते ना काले आडूई ऐ हेतु ये आला मेरे प्रोसेस से इगने क्या नहीं मार कर लती है ना आलू चिंगे निक्के निक्के का ना काले वैडी for the experienced employees it will take lower time because of this learning curve theory because he learned about this particular process 
as a result he reduced it this time right so that is the basic introduction so if you if you are not understood this particular process please wait we'll catch it on later slides right and if method api katha karanni meka hariyata pahadili wela mai meke sarlawa adahasa thamai kisiyam සේවකෙක් එකම දේ නැවත නැවත කිරීම තුලින් නැත එකම කාර්යයක් නැවත විවිධ කිරීම තුලින් එයා ඒ process එක ඉගෙන ගන්නවා ඒ ඉගෙන ගැනීම තුලින් මොකද්ද වෙන්නේ එයාට කලින් කාර්ය කරාට වඩා අඩු කාලයකින් ඊළඟ කාර්ය කරන්න පුළුවන් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි පළවෙනි unit එකකට පැය පහක් ගියා නම් අපි කියනවා පැය 500ක් විතර යද්දී එයා ඊට වඩා කාලය අඩු කරගයි ඊට පස්සේ එයා එයා 5000ක් හැදුවොත් ඒකට නැ කාලය අඩුයි ඒ වගේ නිමෝම වැඩි වෙනවත් සමග කාලයත් එක්ක එයාට ඒ කාර්යය සඳහා යන කාලය අඩු වෙනවා මොකද එයා ඒ process එක ඉගෙන ගැනීම තුලින් that is learning effect right so this example i explained where it is applied so here this is the main area so in a standard costing of the product here you can see the learning curve theory they can link to this particular labor cost plus they can link it to this particular direct other area as well if it is linked with this particular direct labor hours so these are the main three methods we are going to uh, discuss today so the tabular approach the graphical approach and the algebraic approach tabular approach graphical approach and algebraic approach here tabular approach so here in tabular approach we are using two assumptions here we are using two assumptions first one is the products here output of the product doubles api kiyenawa tabular approach ekak use karanna pulang api nimawuma degunayak wena awasthawak e kiyanne නිමෝම දෙගුණයක් කිවි යන්න ඕනේ which means our output should be doubles in continuous manner which means first product uh, first initially we are producing one unit then we are unit producing two units then we are producing four then eight sixteen thirty two likewise if our output is getting doubled at that point we can apply this tabular approach the second assumptions we are using here our learning rate is a constant percentage every time learning rate is a constant percentage every time so learning rate is constant percentage every time and our output is getting getting doubled so those are the two assumptions we are using so here this theory says cumulative average time per unit produced is assumed to fall by a constant percentage every time when total output of the product doubles so cumulative average time is the average time per unit for all units produced so far etota metrinja api kiyanne mokadda lamai metrinja api kiyenawa nimawuma degunayak wena awasthawakadi mokadda wenne apita e sandaha gata wena kaalaya constant percentage ekkin adu wenawa which means here you can see here here you can see here here you can see our cumulative number of units here you can see unit one unit two units four units and eight units here you can see output is getting doubled here output is in getting doubled here which means here we can apply the tabular approach so here they want to give our learning rate so here they should give a learning rate so here they have given let's say 90% is the learning rate so that is the constant percentage so api ti kiyana api metana kiyana constant percentage ekin thama hama welema kaalaya adu wenne ඒ කියන්නේ ස්ථාවර ගානකින් අපි හිතමු learning rate එක 190යි learning rate එක 170යි see learning rate එක 170යි ඒකෙන් කියන්නේ පළවෙනි එකට පළවෙනි unit එකට අපි හිතමු කාලය 
විනාඩි 100ක් ගියා නම් ලර්නිං රේට් එක 180ින් 80ින් අදහස් වෙන්නේ එයා ඊළඟ එක එකේ හදන්න යන්නේ ඉතින් තමයි ඊළඟ අවුට්පුට් එක ගාලට හදන්න යන්නේ 180යි කියන්නේ 80ක් ඒ කියන්නේ 180ක් කියන්නේ පළවෙනි එකට 100ක් යනවා කියන්නේ ඊළඟ සෙට් එකට ඇයට යන්නේ විනාඩි 80යි ඊළඟ සෙට් එකට ඇයට යන්නේ 80 වෙනුත් 180ක් ඒ කියන්නේ 64යි so here you can see if learning rate is 80% let's say for the first unit he need 100 minutes here yeah. for the first unit 100 minutes needed so here if learning rate is 80% means so their time will be get reduced so the second set here they need only 80 minutes so here output is getting double so here you can see output is getting double so here one then two four eight which means our output is getting double which means we can apply the tabular approach here in tabular approach we are saying there are two assumptions the learning rate should be constant percentage and our output should be get double so we metana kon desi dekai learning rate ekak istavara ganak wenna one ehena eka 180y output ekak hema welema double wenna one etan deguna ekin wedi wenna one etawata me awasthaya lebeda puluwan tabular approach our first method tabular approach we can apply so here what tabular approach says cumulative average time per unit produced is assumed to be fall by a constant percentage every time when our output is getting double so here in tabular approach what it says the cumulative average time so this is cumulative average time so in tabular approach it says when our output is getting double our cumulative average time will be fall by a constant percentage etoda ekkata yana samanya kaalaya sthavara ganakin adu wenawa etoda palawini ekak ekak hadaddi yana samanya kaalaya 100 ay vinadi 100 ay api unit deyak hadana avasthawa ekedi ekka unit ekkata yana samanya kaalaya 80 ay api unit 4 ak yaduwoth ekka unit ekkata yana samanya kaalaya hoyana kawada kalin tibba tatte ay api aaya 180 ekata yana which means 64 will be our cumulative average time when we are producing 80 units means our production our performance is now more improved so we can compute it from the previous situation into 80% so this is cumulative average time this is not the total time right this is cumulative average time ekak kadannena samanya kale etara metade wata balanna puluwa here it is clearly you can see if we producing one units your cumulative average time will be 100 minutes if you are producing two means the cumulative average time will be 80 if you are producing four units means your cumulative average time will be 64 per unit if you are producing eight units you can produce one unit per this particular you can produce one unit for this particular 50 1.2 minutes which means if your output is increasing here your time consumption will be reduced why this time consumption is reduced why here why this time reduction is there because of the learning curve impact metana kale adu wenne learning curve impact එක හින්ද. ඔයා ඒ process එක ඉගෙන ගැනීම තුලින් ඔයාට එකක් හදන්න යන කාලය අඩු කරන්න පුළුවන්. so here you can see cumulative average time මෙතන තියෙන්නේ එකක් හදන්න යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය මෙතන මුළු කාලය නෙමෙයි. එකක් ඇදුවොත් එකක් හදන්න විනාඩි 100ක් යනවා. අපි දෙකක් හදන අවස්ථාවකදී එක unit එකක් හදන්න යන්නේ විනාඩි 80යි. අපි හතරක් ඇදුවොත් එක unit එකක් හදන්න ඔයාට යන්නේ සාමාන්‍ය කාලය මිනිත්තු 64යි. ඔයා 8ක් ඇදුවොත් එක unit එකක් හදන්න ඔයාට යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය 
minitu palat tegai dasaman tegai he tu wa me proses tegai gene gene ima tuling kali adu kara gata right so this is one simple example right so this is the tabular approach so in tabular approach remember that there are two key assumptions one is here we are saying your <coughs> cumulative average time will be reduced at a constant percentage which means your learning rate will be constant and other criteria is your output always should get doubled am i lema nimo ma degunyak wenna awasthawak vitarai meyake yoda ganna puluwa right so this is the example that i have taken in that excel as well so here if our learning rate is 80% this will be one example so here cumulative average uh, cumulative units we can see 1 2 4 8 Here you can see our output is getting doubled. So here you can see cumulative average time per unit. If we assume for our first unit we need 100 minutes, for the second units we need cumulative average time 80 because our learning rate is 80 percent, 100 into 80. For if we are producing four in, four units, the time will be get reduced. So 64. If we are producing 80, 8 units, our time will be 51. minutes because of the learning curve theory right so here this is the average time no so if we compute the total time you can find the uh, this column here per unit 100 into 1 total time will be 100 per unit average time per unit 80 we are producing 2 so total time will be 160 टोटलोटी column then if you want to find the marginal cost or if you want to find the incremental cost what we can do we can find the difference between this cost and difference between this output so if you want to find the marginal time what you want to do we want to take the difference between total time should be divided by difference between output so here incremental units 1 here between this two you can see incremental units 1 between 2 and 4 you can see incremental units 2 between this 4 and 8 you can see incremental units 4 so incremental time you can take from this total time column 100 here incremental time the difference 60 the difference 96 this difference is 153 then we can find the incremental average time per unit incremental average time per unit so here incremental time should be divided by incremental output so here 100 divided by 1 60 divided by 1 96 divided by 2 153.6 divided by 4 here you can see incremental average time per unit is continuously reduced 160 40 38.4 this incremental average time per unit is reduced because of the learning curve impact right so that is the basic understanding up to now now we'll move to one question then you can understand it easily so this is question number 1 here bottom mod anticipates that 90% learning curve will apply to a production of a new item so here if it is a new item which means obviously there will be a learning curve impact and here they have given 90% is the learning curve right right <coughs> right then they are saying the first item will cost 2000 in materials and will take 500 labor hours so they are they have given their first item cost information so they need uh, 2000 in materials and they need 500 labor hours right the cost per labor hour 
and variable overhead is 5 rupees so here they are saying for in material cost for the first item it will be 2000 fine then labor hours they are saying it required 500 labor hours for first unit fine and variable over it's also same uh, 5 rupee per hour into 500 hours right then they are asking calculate the total cost for the first unit and the first eight units so here they are asking us to compute the total cost for the first unit and first eight units so how we are going to find this one so we can note down this basic information they have given in this question so we'll go to this excel so i have note down already the learning rate 90 percent fine first item will cost 200 2000 in material fine <coughs> here you can see this is the first unit Here you can see for the first unit material cost will be 2000 fine <coughs> and for first unit 500 labor hours needed so here they are saying cost per hour for labor and variable overhead is 5 rupees so here both labor and variable per hour 5 rupees so both included so only we want to multiply this 5 by this 500 to find the labor and other variable cost so material cost they have given and labor and variable cost 5 per hour so 5 into 500 plus this 2000 will be our cost total cost per this particular unit right so 5 hours needed for first unit so we need hours requirement for one unit or for the first unit we need how many labor hours we need 500 labor hours so 5 into 500 2500 that will be the labor and other variable cost so other labor and other variable cost per labor per hour 5 so 500 hours needed so 2500 will be labor and other variable cost material cost is straightforward per one unit material cost is 2000 so you, we can find per unit the first unit cost will be 4500 right so the average cost also will be same why the cost is 4500 output is one so average cost per unit also will be 4500 right so they are asking us to find the total cost for the first unit so it will be 4500 right so this is it. this will be the answer this will be the answer right and they are asking total cost for first eight units total cost of first eight units right now we want to apply the learning curve theory so first unit we need 500 labor hours fine then they are asking us the total cost of eight units which means here you can see we can apply the tableau approach why here the eight we can uh, take as this way 
output is doubling means here you can see when the output is doubling or when it get doubles here you can see one two four eight so eight uh, they ask in the eight uh, the total cost of uh, output eight so this stable approach we can apply why here it can be applied uh, to a situation where the output is getting doubled which means for the first, if they are giving any information for the first unit obviously we can apply tabular approach when output is 2 when output is 4 8 16 32 whatever if output is these amounts we can apply the tabular approach because uh, in this outputs only the output is getting doubled right okay so when we are producing the first unit we need 500 hours per unit so learning rate is 90 percent so learning rate we have note down here which means in tabular approach we are saying when the output is getting doubled our cumulative average time will be reduced by a constant percentage so here this time will be reduced by a constant percentage 90 then previous scenario will be reduced by a constant percentage 90 likewise this also computed we can see the time is reduced the average time is reduced right then we can find the total time so they are asking us to find the total cost of 8 units which means if you are producing 8 units means per unit we need 364.5 minutes if you are producing 8 units means this will be our total time so they are asking us the total cost of 8 units which means the labor hours used will be 2916 so this information only we needed so these are the additional information I have computed so you can go through according to this question these informations are enough this will be the required information so let's assume a scenario without the learning curve impact api saamanya hithuma lamai learning curve impact ekak naththam mokadda wenne ekka unit ekak hadanna tenne kocharadda material de da hewa ekka unit ekak ekka ni etokota de da hewa ekai de da hai ekka unit ekkata labor hours 5 etokota ekka labor hours ekkata yana cost ekak na ekka unit ekkata labor hours 500 ai ekka unit ekka labor hours ekkata yanne rupayal 5 etokota Pahewa, Pansia, the Das Pansia, the Gota Eka unit take a unit take Hadan and Costa Hardas Pansia. That is our basic understanding. So per unit 4500, if you are producing 18, it means our cost will be 4500 into 8. That is our basic understanding of 36,000. Up Saman with the Hito, Eka unit take Hadan and Hardas Pansia, Yena, Atakadana, Kotra can know that this Hadaha. So, if you have a unit, you can see the labor of 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 the labor the labor of 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 the the so if without the without the learning curve impact we need 4000 hours with the learning curve impact learning curve impact at the hours ta ok lamai paya hara dahak yanne nae mokoda mea e process ek nevata nevata kirima tulin kaale adu enawa e hinda pansi yo attack balala paya hara dahak kiyala ganne nae learning curve theory ek apply karala api hoya ganna kaale kochchara kenawada 2916 ek yanne oat peena wala mai paya hara dahak yanne tone ek Pay the dust namasia das in the nya kerna. He to a pay das a suhatra kaduila dino. He to a mea a process second avatana the kirimatuli may process again again a kalia do gregana tieno. So this is the learning curve benefit. This is the learning curve benefit, right? Now here you can see now they are asking the cost of eight units. So per unit material cost will be two thousand eight units. It will be 16,000. 8 into 2,000. Make a material cost learning curve theory. Material is going to be 
लेबर कॉस्ट एक गया ना लर्निंग करो तेरे का अप्लाई होने लेबर कॉस्ट एक डर हो वेरिएबल कॉस्ट का क्लिंक कर लती बहुत लेबर आवास वाले एक डर मैटेरियल एक डर इसे में लाओ कर लर्निंग करो तेरे अप्लाई होने ना सो हियर मैटेरियल कॉस्ट विल बी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड 2008 16,000 डी लेबर रेट इस सेम फाइव पर आवर learning curve theory मैंने मैं कहता हूँ विनाश सीन में ये तो कोटा एक कटा पे पांची या क्या नवा अटक क्या दूध सामान्य यंनो ने पे हार दा है ना मुझे learning curve theory तीन ही इंदा भी किया नवा पे हार दा क्या नया दिदास नमस्य दास है यान which means our time is reduced so as a result our cost also reduced so here you can see now our total time requirement for eight units is two thousand nine hundred sixteen hours into five so fourteen 1580 will be our cost so here you can see our total cost for 8 units will be 30,580 so if we are considering a scenario without the learning curve theory our per unit cost will be 4500 into 8 our cost will be 36,000 but here you can see our new cost will be 30,580 because of the learning curve impact. अब इसे learning curve तीन या तीन क्या ने मुकाद दिलामा है इन्हें इन्ना श्रम भी रहे आडू करा गाना पुलवा। ये तो वोटा भी learning curve तीन या नेतिया वस्ता का कॉस्ट का तीस साय दा क्या नाम learning curve तीन या तीन आ वस्ता का आप इटा कॉस्ट का क्या ने तीस दस पांच या सौ आई ये तो मैं कॉस्ट का आडू ने learning curve तीन या के हिंदा so here you can see the answer as I explained 30,580 will be the here you can see when output is doubling we can apply the tabular approach yes here they ask in the cost of first unit and eight units so here you can see we can apply the tabular approach here cumulative average time requirement 500 hours 450 405 364 right here total time consumption they have computed we can multiply with the average time by number of outputs then we can find the total time requirement right so what method is my all other pulling following you need to cost of hand material cost of the high labor cost of the last one ci hard as one ci can you take care of cost of so after applying this learning curve theory we computed that to produce 8 units we no need 4000 hours we just need only 2916 hours as per this particular table so we computed this table and we found we need only 2916 hours to produce 8 units so here you can see we need only 2916 hours to produce 8 units so here to 8 units material cost will be 16,000 it is straightforward 2 into 2,000 into 8 but the labor cost here you can see labor our requirement will be this much 2,916 into 5 will be 14,580 so you can see we are producing 8 units our cost will be 30,580 so here 4,500 will be the first unit cost 30,580 will be the 8 units cost so if we found the average cost here you can see if we producing only one unit our average cost will be 4,500 if we are producing 8 units our average cost will be 3,822 learning curve impact එක හින්දා අපිට ශ්‍රම පිරිවෙ අඩු කරගන්න පුළුවන් ඒ හින්දා සමස්ත පිරිවෙ අඩු කරගන්න පුළුවන් so here you can see in if there is any learning curve impact if you are producing more means we will get more benefit so here if you are producing 16 means we can reduce this cost further if you are producing 32 means we can reduce this cost further which means we can sell this product to a lower price to the customer which means we can have a competitive advantage in the market if we correctly identified our 
learning curve theory. Here, what I mean, that learning curve theory impact that we have already seen. That means, what we have seen, we have to learn the basic concepts. 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 We have to learn the Captain Mendes has designed a new type of sailing boat for which the cost of first boat to produced has been estimated as follows. So here they have given going to produce uh, a new sailing boat. So their first boat standard cost has been given. So here to produce their first boat they need material, labor and other overheads. So here the Composition they have given material cost will be 5 million per first boat Labor requirement will be 800 hours. So 5,000 per hour. So the cost will be 4 million Overheads they have linked to the labor cost. So here overheads remember in this question they have linked to labor cost which means Learning curve theory applies for the labor cost plus in this question it is applied for the overheads as well the reason they have linked the overhead cost to labor they know that my me got the learning curve theory the labor curve is running me by the pony oh head degree of balapana here to a overhead degree yeah the link a latino labor cost and the labor cost of an assembly oh head degree in a center in the learning curve theory can be the not a balapana material at a balapani yeah it's a lot of the room and only the time my following about to have done a little bit of how lucky at a yala boat to देखा खादरों ना में कोस्टेगा आ रहे हैं इन्होंने ये तो मैटेरियल कोस्टेगा ना बैडी बने का बेना मानी मार रहे हैं नमूद बैडी बने वेगे एकाए नमूद लेब कोस्टेगा ही ओवरहेड कोस्टेगा ही में वेगे में बैडी बनी ने एक अन्य देवनी बांडे है दो देवने बोर्ड तो है दो खादरों ने बोर्ड तो है दो लर्निंग को इम्पैक्ट है ही ना पीरियड तेरे कच्चे कर गाने पुलवा ये ही ना अभी बोर्ड टू गाना हादरने गाने वैडिकरन वैडिकरन ना एक का बोर्ड टू कर जाना पीरियड आडू कर गाने पुलवा इफ यू प्रोड्यूस मोर बोर्ड्स द क्यूमुलेटिव एवरेज कॉस्ट कैन बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दिस लर्निंग को and they have given the profit markup as well in this question so our profit markup is 20% so 20% on our cost will be added and our selling price will be decided so in this example the first board's cost is 15 million markup 20% added and our selling price decided 18 million now our question if the learning curve is 90% so here they have given a constant percentage and they are asking us to find out the total cost of 4 units so they are asking the total cost of 4 units or 4 boards and average cost per unit so if you are producing the 4 boards average cost per unit or average cost per board and possible selling price per unit so I hope now you understood the question Lamai so try to do it in your own so here they have given the information for the first unit ekai board to kadanawa nan eya lage cost ekak pahala wai miliyana labe miliyana tunai miliyana 18 ay eya lage wikunum mela if they are producing first board this will be their cost and this will be their selling price so now they are asking if the if this company is producing four boards what will be their total cost what will be their average cost and what will be their possible selling price so you wanted to know that first boards cost is 15 million means if they are producing four boards means obviously this average cost should be reduced which means the current selling price per board is 18 million which means if you are producing four boards means we can sell our boards for a lesser price than this 18 million here on the line I thought probably when you need to copy the million of the heart attack you can know not a pick about to put on a hot on me I'll be the board to put on a million of the heart attack now what I'll be bought to have to record again a bit of their own gun on it board to have a million of the heart attack or down to me like a good one a pull one here to a bit of cost to go to the gun a pull one a hint about a million of the one pull one 
right so <coughs> four units means obviously we can apply the tabular approach <coughs> so i have here we'll find out the uh, find out the answer so here you can see here for the first unit they need 800 hours for the first unit they need 800 hours now second units fourth units so i have taken up to fourth unit so they are learning rate in this question they have given it is 90% so 90% i have taken Ninety percent I have taken. So first unit, eight hundred hours. Then, if they are producing two units, obviously time will be get reduced. If they are producing four units, means obviously the previous time will be get reduced by a constant percentage. So here you can see cumulative average time is get reduced. Meaning cumulative average time maker. Eka kati ana samanya kalle. So we can find the total time, average time into output. So here you can find. So we need to find the total time requirement for eight, four units, four boards. In this question, they are asking if they are producing four boards or four units. What is the cost? So here we want to compute the hour, hourly requirement. So here, if we are producing four boards, we can produce one board uh, for this particular time requirement, which means we need this much of total time to produce four boards. So this will be our required information. So I have computed the cost as follows. So here you can see material requirement for one board, it is five million. For four boards, it is twenty million. Five million into four. Labor requirement. For first board 800 hours if they are producing four boards means we need here 2592 hours so now we are producing four boards so this will be our total labor requirement per labor hour. our cost is 5000 so 5000 per labor hour, we need this much labor hours so it can be units of hours so this is number of units so this is number of hours so here 5000 into 2592 it will be 12.96 million then they are saying overheads are 150 percent of labor cost so our overheads will be 150 percent of labor cost so 150 percent of labor cost labor cost 12.96 million into 150 percent or 1.5 now we can find the total cost of four boards. Total cost of four boards here 52.4 million. So they are asking the total cost of four boards. It is 52.4 million. Without this learning curve impact, Lamai, you can see per board cost is they have given in this question 15 million. So 15 million into four. It should be 60 million if there is no learning curve impact. Learning curve impact and net alamai both to a kadana million pahalavai both to a kadana million hatai. Now, learning curve impact a gatin in the lamai while the theatna costaga bit adukaragana pulanguna million panas the guy the sma hatarata make costaga duni shemikia make a ganagata a tuling yak and a kalia dukaragata a tuling me piriatria kialagata gata. Right, so here this is without learning curve impact, and this is with learning curve impact. So here now we are under with learning curve impact. So learning curve impact got the apidiana cost of my million upon us the guy just board to hatharagata. So average cost per unit. So this is the cost, uh, this is the cost for four boards. So average cost per board will be total cost divided by number of units it is 4 so average cost will be 13.1 million then they are asking the 
possible selling price possible selling price will be the uh, we won't add the 20 percent markup to our cost so our markup percentage 20 percent which means this is our cost per unit so markup will be 20 percent on our cost so if we add up the profit to our cost we can get the selling price so here you can see possible selling price per unit or per board will be 15.72 million at all I'm not there now follow any board to a pihadu million of a hello cutter now with them a bit of me board to a color and the plum million of the how do I just make a cutter calling up a board to a quick million of the heart a cutter then a bit about to a few on the plum million of a hello I just work up I did cutter here to a learning curve theory again at the other got the video editing now you can see the answer here this will be your final answer so previously the first board we sold out for 18 million if we are producing four boards means we can sell one board for 15.72 million which is lesser than our previous price which means if we are producing more boards means we can get the this cost advantage as a result we can sell these boards in the market for lower price as a result we can get the competitive advantage in the market right so this is the importance of learning curve theory so we are moving to the next method it, it is graphical method graphical method so graphical method it is very straightforward so here you can see graphical method is less accurate way of estimating the learning curve effect but in new examination there won't be any computation on this right so here you can see the my uh, we are using a graph to explain the uh, learning curve impact so this method will be a less accurate method to explain the learning curve theory but in graphically uh, we can understand how the learning curve impact is so this is for understanding purpose i have given but in your examination they won't test that much in this area as per my prediction so here but uh, it's better to know about this approach as well so here you can see the learning curve effect from the above example can be shown on a graph as a learning curve either for unit times or cumulative times or cost so here you can we can show this graph uh, either unit time basis or id cumulative time basis so here in the second one you can see it is based on the cumulative time here this is cumulative average time so lama happy to make a chroma decker up in and like a cumulative average time a curtain of samanya calling a bit of pin on pull one make a curtain of samanya calling me cumulative total time Mulukale, total Mulukale Gatama, Mulukale, Vedivin Begia, Balana, Kremian, Aduila. So here you can see this is not a straight line. This is not a straight line. It is here you can see it's gradually the increment rates is gradi gradually decreased. So you can see this gradually decrement as a result of learning curve impact. Miki Balana, Muluk Mulukale. Nata Mulupirve Eka Saman from Mandagin Vedivana, Vedivina Vege Vedivina Vege, Kremming, Aduila Tino, Ekat He to a learning curve theory. Nata make a Sarlo Reka Kidder, may you did a good turn. Kelim Sarlo Reka Kidder make a good turn, Namut Sarlo Reka Kidder make a Nata make Kremming, Aduila Tini, learning curve theory. Hinda. Here also we can see the average time per unit is gradually decreased because of the learning curve theory impact so here for the first unit we need five hours for second unit third third in fourth unit fifth unit likewise here if it is thousand unit the time is reduced likewise <coughs> here you can see when the output is increasing the average time will be get reduced when the output is increasing average time will get reduced so this is the 
based on cumulative average time this is based on total time so but remember am I in the both situations the this reduction will be stopped at a point so this gradual reduction also is stopped at the point and it will be a straight line here this source will be stopped at a point and it will be a straight line because of the situation of learning curve impact learning curve impact hai hamewe liyama thiyenne na eka kisiya mawasthawa wakedi nathara wenawa e hinda api kiyana me curve eka metanin ehata samantharawa issarata gaman karana metanimuth eka eka sthawara ganakin metanin ehata gaman karana me aduwima kisiya mawasthawa wakata passe nathara wenawa we call that situation as a steady state this steady state is arising because of two things uh, which means we can we can't reduce this time for a follow-up period after a certain period this particular learning curve impact will be stopped here also we can see in this curve also the learning curve impact will be stopped at a point here also we can see learning curve impact will be stopped at a point we call this learning curve will come to a steady state again it ring nihata kale aya aduwimak wenne na e istawara ganakata hinne hetu thamai hetu dekka pita katha karanna puluwang here you can see there are two main reasons workers are at their physical limits and machinery is at its limits preventing further increases in output so the workers have their physical limit as well as machinery will have its limits so because of these two constraints we can't improve our performance further you can say we can see i'm capacity cup you know you are machine so let them capacity cup you know he's a move labor slug capacity key up on your mother and our to say that in your day up मैक्सीम physical limit or when a machine is reached to its maximum limit we are saying it will be the uh, it will be the point we are expecting the steady state so make avastha dekhe di api bala porthuna steady state ya save ekan yala ge prima avastha wakata pamini yata passe saha machines eyala ge मेशीन वाले उपर में कैपेसिटी का आवाज़ पस्त आप इतने में इतने यहाँ टा लर्निंग के वो इम्पैक्ट का बलांगु इन्हीं ने इतने यहाँ टा इक्का समान काल या तमा इस तरह टा यानि नमूत आडूवी मक वेला थी ने आडूवी मक वेला उपरी में अवस्था वाता माय का एक ना आडू करेगा ना उपरी में अवस्था आडूवी म will be easily understood by this graphs right now we are moving to the algebraic approach or formula approach this is the most famous method in your syllabus so here we are using a formula to understand the learning curve impact so this is very important lama so here your most of the questions can be tested using this area that this is higher possible area in your examination so here you can see our formula is y equals a x into the power b y equals a x into the power b so using this simple formula we are going to understand in the learning curve impact so how we are going to apply this formula so we, before applying this formula we want to know what are these variables so y this is our output so y will be the cumulative average time per unit cumulative average time per unit to produce x units if you are producing x number of units what will be the cumulative average time 
so if you are producing one unit our x will be one if you are producing two units x will be two if you are producing eight units our x will be eight so if you are producing eight units what will be the average time it will be y which means what is the output we already taken using the table will be the y it can be calling mudaharnir gatto metanadi palani ekage hadannena kale දෙකක් ඇදුවොත් එකකට යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය මේ 8ක් ඇදුවොත් එකකට යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය මෙන්න මේක තමයි අපි කියන්නේ මොකද y අපි කලින් y හිව්වේ කොහොමද මේ ටේබල් එකක් හදලා ටේබල් එකක් හදලා අපි මේ එකකට යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය හෝ දාසයක් නම් මෙතන තව අපි හොයනවා අපි මේ ටේබල් එකක් යූස් කරන හොයපු එක අපි කියන ටැබියුලා ඇප්‍රෝච් අපි දැන් ඉන්නේ formula approach නැත්තම් algebraic approach so here we are just using this simple formula and we are finding out the what is the cumulative average time per unit so here this is very easy so x will be the cumulative number of units either it can be 1 2 8 whatever so here there it is not necessary to output get double so here we can apply any output level here metanadi api kiyala lamai output ekak double wenna one na meka ona avasthawakada use karanna puluwan output ekak eka wenna puluwan deka wenna puluwan 50000 lakshya ඕන ගානක් අපිට ඇප්ලයි කරන්න පුළුවන් එක්ස්ට්‍රා මෙතනදී ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ අවුට්පුට් එක කීය වුණත් A will be the time taken for the first unit of output so A will be the time taken for first unit so A will be the first unit time requirement so 500 hours 800 hours it will be the in our previous examples here this 800 hours will be the first unit time requirement in this example 500 hours will be the first units time requirement so likewise a will be the first units time requirement b will be the index of learning this is very important now my this b is a uh, new for this particular formula the previous things this cumulative average time per unit we already learned in the tabular approach the cumulative number of units also we learn time taken for first unit also we learned in tabular approach but this b is new for this method so b is the index of learning me index of learning kinaka hari wedagat me index of learning ekata ma me formula method ekage di wedagat karya bhagayak itu karanna so here we want to know how we are going to find the index of learning or b so there is a there is a standard formula given for that so this formula we want to use so log learning rate should be divided by log 2 මතක තියාගන්න ළමයි log learning rate should be divided by log 2 so this log 2 always will be constant මේ log 2 එක ගැන හිතන්න බලමු මේක මේ formula එක හැම වෙලේම අපි ස්ථාවරව තියාගන්න it will be constant but the thing is this log learning rate we want to change මෙන්න මේ log learning rate කියන එක තමයි අපි යොදා ගන්න ඕනේ so here so this learning rate remember here i have given that learning rate is the learning so here learning rate should be a decimal number should be a decimal number when you are using this log remember that we want to use this learning rate as a decimal number which means our label learning rate is let's say 90% so here we put 0.9 if it is 80% we are putting 0.8 understood so likewise what you want to do we want to use decimal numbers for our learning rate so b is the index of learning right so just take your calculators and just try few examples here i have taken one example when y equals a x into the power b learning curve theory so here you can see b is the learning index so how to find log of learning rate divided by log of 2 always remember log of learning rate should be divided by log 2 so here you can see in your calculator this will be a log button so you can app just apply and see log here you can use this log button log let's say our learning rate is 80% which means we want put 8% means we want to put 0.8 so log 0.8 divided by log 
then you can find your index this uh, learning index as z minus 0 0.322 when you when you are looking at your calculator you can get the exact figure 0 minus 0 0.3219 so here i have taken it for three decimal places so zero minus 0 0.322 right so just try few examples if our learning rate is 90 percent what will be the learning index if learning rate is 65 percent what will be the learning index likewise just try and see what we want to change is only this learning rate so remember learning rate we want to use as a decimal place this log 2 will be constant so log learning rate divided by log 2 so we can find the b so if we can find the b means automatically we can sort out this problem so b will be index we know how to find now x will be cumulative number of units a will be the first unit time requirement y will be the automatically our output cumulative average time per unit okay so we'll move to one example in the sample question i have given suppose for example that an 80 percent learning curve applies so 80 percent learning curves means obviously we want to know learning rate is 0 0.8 so learning index we can find b we can find just in that formula log 0 0.8 divided by log 2 so we can find the b here learning rate 80 percent learning curve applies to production of item abc to date end of june 230 units of abc have been produced budgeted production for july is 55 units now this is an interesting question so they have given end of june 230 units produced which means our cumulative units will be 230 up to june budgeted production for july is 55 units now we want to know one thing end of june will be the beginning of july so end of june 230 is cumulative output means in july we are going to produce 55 unit which means end of july we want to know our cumulative output will be how much 285 july 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 right now they have given the cost for very first unit of abc it is 120000 so a they have given for the first unit the cost is labor this is obviously labor related cost 120000 so a they have given 120000 b we want to find log 0 0.8 should be divided by log 2 x can be 230 or either we can apply 285 will decide it based on the question now we'll move to the question what is the requirement so here they are asking to calculate the budgeted total labor cost for july now what they are asking they are asking to calculate the budgeted total labor cost for july they are asking only for july which means this 55 units in july we are expecting to produce how many units we are expecting to produce 55 units so they are only asking what is the cost for this july so we can't fight uh, we can't find it out using this formula in a straightforward manner formula Make the honey July masses and have it a rack. July masses and have it a rack. A daughter July masse with the unit Hadala, they say the Hadala, Tino Juni Agavedi, the Turme Panaspateka, they see a super cano, July Agavedi, to rapid make a caparme Panaspa, Hoyan the Banamut, a pit, they see the Hakana Sta Vidi, Hoyan the Puluang. Saha me Panaspa, the Adura Passi, they see a super have a Namasta with the Hoyan the Puluang. A toka a bit of Puluang, they see a super. Hadutian Samania Kalekochurda, they see a soup hack Hadutian Mulukale Cochurda. 
දෙසිය තිහක් හදන්න යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය කොච්චරද දෙසිය තිහක් කෙදු තියෙන මුළු කාලය කොච්චරද එතකොට අපිට පුළුවන් දෙසිය 85ක් හදන්න යන කාලෙන් දෙසිය තිහක් හදන්න යන කාලය අඩු කරොත් ඇත්තටම එන්නේ ළමයි එතනදී අර වැඩිපුර හදන්න යන 55ට යන කාලය ඒ කියන්නේ ජුලයි වල කාලය අපිට හොයන්න පුළුවන් මේ විදියට සෝ හියර් we want to apply few steps to find out the solution because this is not straight forward so we can find if you are producing 230 units what will be the cumulative average time and what will be the total time then after this july production our cumulative production will be 285 units we can find at that point which means at 285 units what will be the cumulative average time and what will be the total time so at 285 units what will be the total time at 230 units what will be the total time so we can get the difference it will be the actually cost for july which means the cost for this 55 units so we'll see what are the steps we can use so to sort out this problem we need to calculate these three things these three things we want to calculate first the cumulative total labor costs so far to produce the 230 units of abc so we want to find out what is the total labor cost if we are producing 230 units which means the cost at june end cumulative total labor cost to produce 285 units which means after july after july with this july production our after july cumulative production will be 285 so what is the total labor cost if we are producing 285 units what is the total labor cost if we are producing 230 units now what we can do what we can we can take the extra cost of this 55 units which means we can take the total cost of 285 units minus 230 units total labor cost so the difference will be the incremental cost of this 55 units which means it will be the relevant cost for july month thena da lama etoṭa meke de mokada ganna thene units 230ak hadowoth jana samanya cost ekak hoyala apita puluwang mulu pirwaya hoyanna eka eka 285ak hadowoth apita yana samanya pirwaya hoyala mulu pirwaya hoyanna puluwang etoṭa mulu pirwaya deke wenasa 285ak hadowoth yana mulu pirwaya saha 230ak hadowoth yana mulu pirwaya deke wenasa thamai me eka eka 55ak yana pirwaya wenne which means it will be the relevant cost for july month understood hope you understood this uh, steps okay we'll go step by step so here you can so this is our formula i have taken a screenshot the formula for the learning curve theory so y equal ax into the power b so learning rate i explain learning rate we want to take as a decimal place so 80% means in this question it is uh, 80% which means it should be 0.8 fine end of june end of june our production is accumulated uh, production is 230 units cumulative output is 230 units end of june budgeted production for july 55 units so i have noted down those information budgeted production for july 55 units first unit cost is 120000 which means a january 1st january which means first units cost 120000 so you can see in this formula we need y we are going to find out a x and b we needed so a they have given 120000 a they have given 120000 b how to find the b there is a formula given for b log learning rate should be divided by log 2 so log learning rate here the learning rate is 80% which means 0.8 so log learning rate log 0.8 divided by log 2 using your calculator you can find out this answer minus 0.322 i have round up the answer for three decimal places right so if our x cumulative output cumulative output let's take the first scenario if our cumulative output is 230 
so if x is 230 what will happen we can apply and see if uh, our cumulative output is 230 so x is 230 a is 120,000 b is after applying this formula minus 0 0.322 so here you can see i have applied this formula a So, A 120,000 multiplied by X into the power B, you know, here. So, X cumulative number of output 230 into the power. So, here you can use mod button in your calculator. Then, minus 0 0.322, your learning index B. So, you can find out. You can find out 20,830 approximately we can take 20,830 so let's say 20,830 so this is your y y so y equals to 20,830 so what does it mean y y is the cumulative average time per unit so this is cumulative average time per unit so this, remember that this is the average time this is the average time which means if you are producing 230 units means we can produce one unit at this time clear so this is not the total time if you are producing 230 units this will be the average time per unit we see the Satasia Tihakiani. Me Mulukale me. Mukata me sutring in me Samani Kali. Ekakatella Samani Kalitama Vaikiani. So cumulative average time per unit. So here cumulative average time per unit will be twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty. So how to find the total time? So total time total time to produce two hundred and thirty units. Itokata Ekaka the Sia Tihakadanian Samasta Kali at the Mulukale Balanikamada. Per unit time multiplied by output. Eka kati ana kaali adi karna mulu. Again, ne minimum pramane. So we can find this will be the this will be the total time or cost. So in this question they have given the cost. Eka ne hamavili ma kaali ma dinno onne pirvya dunno pirvya thama inne. So in this question they have given this is not the time they have given the cost which means this will be the cumulative average cost this will be the average cost which means this will be the total cost either it can be total time or here in this question they have given in cost make gaane yala dila dinni pirivaya enda apita me enni samulu pirivaya me labor related total cost we can identify 4 point 4,790,900 so this will be the total cost if we produced 230 units this will be the average cost per unit if we produce 230 units understood so here you can see if we produced if we produced 230 units our average time average cost per unit or cumulative average cost per unit will be 20,830 which I computed here if you want to find the total cost what you want to do this average cost should be multiplied by 230 our output so we can find this amount so we will come to it later so B now what you are going to do now we are assuming and now we are going to find if the end of July now we are going to find the end of July all right end of July what will happen end of July what will happen our X will be 285 why at the beginning it is 230 in July we are expected to produce 55 which means end of July it will be 285 now just 
we want to apply 285 for x. What do we want to do? We want to do x. We want to do x. We want to do x. Other things will be same. So a will be same, b will be same. Only thing x will get change. X will get change. If x get change, what will happen? Your average cost per unit will be become 19,441. So I have applied it already. A won't change, b won't change. Only 285. This x will get change. As a result, our cumulative average time will come to this point amount. So cumulative average time approximately it is 19,440. So this is so this is per unit cost this is per unit cost so per unit cost output so per unit cost can be multiplied by our output so we can find the total cost at the unit output level 285 units here 20,830 we can multiply it by 230 and we can find the total cost at output level of 230 at the output level output level like this is so here what we want to do we want to find the total cost so here average cost per unit at 230 I thought this is the extra dollar up here with a bit now why beside the summer a tight to not this is so bad that I would have been on the hand of my desma that I had a rock so here we this is already computer so we can find the total cost so here in my example i have computed it already here i said per unit if it is the cost 20,830 our total cost will be this much 4,790,900 so here you can see it if our output level here this if our output level is 285 we have taken this figure as 19,440 approximately into 285. This will be our output. So our total cost will be 5,540,400. So 5,540,400. Here we can see the total cost. So this is the same as the same as the So we can get the difference between these two. It is 749.5 which means this incremental cost for this additional 55 units. So here you can see incremental cost for additional 55 units. 749.5 in thousands or in other in other words, it is 749,500 in rupees. Clear? Right. So, this is the answer. This is the answer. They are asking, in this question, they are asking what? What is the budgeted total labor cost for July? So, in July, we are expecting to produce 55 units, which means this incremental cost will be the budgeted cost for July. I thought of July, I was going to say, I was going to say, एक एक पनस पा हदन नहीं आना कोस्ट का तमाय में कर क्लियर सो इफ यू वांट टू फाइंड दी पर यूनिट कोस्ट व्हाट वी कैन डू एक का यूनिट टेक के टाइम कोस्ट का है वो तो अभी रोहयन ने पुलवां को हम अधर में जुलाई मासे संधा है आना कोस्ट का जुलाई मासे अभी हदन है पनस पा हाँ ऐसा वाला जुलाई मासे संधा Thirteen thousand six hundred thirty will be the average cost per unit in July month. In July month, we are going to produce fifty five units. In July month, our cost will be seven hundred forty nine ninety seven hundred forty nine thousand five hundred. Seven hundred forty nine thousand five hundred will be the July month cost. In July month, we are going to produce fifty five units, which means average cost we can say. In July month per unit it will be 13,630 understood hope you understood this question just have a look on this 
try to do it in your own then you will understand this if there's any doubt please come back to me i i'll help you out how to sort out this problem right so remember this in this uh, formula method we can apply any output level for x and we can find out the answer very quickly a can be either time or either it can be a cost for first unit right a ki ne ka hama wilima kaalema denna onna ala mai kaaleya ho piriwaya denna puluwa apita e dena de niyamati paridhi aadesha karanna thiyenne vibhagi right api thawa udaharanayak balamu so we will go to another question so this is i marked as an important question so i have put a star mark there here you can see this is a very critical question in this question you can see uh, here they are given a company needs to calculate the new standard cost for one of its products when the product was introduced the standard variable cost of the first unit was as follows so here they have given the standard cost of first unit so direct material 10 kilograms needed per kilogram 3000 so 30000 will be the material cost so this is constant right if they are producing one unit the material cost will be 30000 if they are producing two units it will be 60000 if you are producing three it will be 90000 likewise it is straight forward so there is no impact for this material cost because of this learning curve theory but here direct labor 10 hours needed for first unit 9000 per hour so 9 into 10 90000 so this is very critical because when they are producing more what will happen this time requirement will get reduced so to understand this we can use tabular approach or algebraic approach but here i mostly suggesting that algebraic approach will be more appropriate right variable overhead 10 hours at 5000 per hour so 5 into 10 50000 so our total cost per first unit will be 170000 so here remember am i this direct labor cost and variable cost both are related to our labor hours 10 hours so this is for first unit so remember this both will get changed when the time passes which means if the learning curve applies what will happen this time requirement will be get reduced so palavini unit ek hadanna pay 10 gana giyata mataka tiya ganna unit gana wedi weddi me kaale adu wenawa etokota me pirive api analyze karoth material cost ekata impact ekak nae namuth direct labor saha variable overhead cost ekak wenas wenawa me learning curve impact ekak aadesha karala beluwa right so during the following year a 90% learning curve was observed so they have of so this scenario and they are giving the learning rate as 90% so we having this learning rate now the cumulative production at the end of third quarter was 50 units and budgeted production for fourth quarter 10 units now this is similar to your previous question end of third quarter our cumulative units are 50 like previous question similar to end of june so what are calling gaane june maase aga මෙතන දීලා තියෙනවා තුන්වෙනි කාර්තුව අවසානයේදී යුනිට් 50ක් හදලා තියෙනවා හතරවෙනි කාර්තුවට යුනිට් 10ක් එයාලා බජට් කරනවා so here in this question for the fourth quarter they are budgeting 10 units which means after fourth quarter we want to know our cumulative units will become 60 අපිට මේක තේරුම් ගන්න ඕන දේ තමයි හතරවෙනි කාර්තුව අවසාන වුණාට පස්සේ අපි නිමවම 60ක් දක්වා වැඩි වෙනවා කියන එක මොකද තුන්වෙනි කාර්තුව අවසානයේදී 50යි හතරවෙනි කාර්තුවේ අපි 10ක් බලාපොරොත්තු වෙනවා එන හතරවෙනි කාර්තුව අවසානයේ වෙද්දී සමස්ත නිමවම 60ක් දක්වා වැඩි වෙනවා ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට x 50දී සහ x 60ද අපිට මේක ඇනලයිස් කරොත් x 50දී x 60දී ඇනලයිස් කරොත් මොකද්ද වෙන්නේ ඒ දෙකේ වෙනස තමයි මේ හතරවෙනි කාර්තුවේ යන යුනිට් 10. So here in this question we'll go to their requirement so here their requirement will be calculate the standard cost per unit for the fourth quarter assuming that the 90% learning curve is still apply so here they asking the calculate the standard cost per unit hondara mata diya ganna lama eyala ahana de so they asking the standard cost per unit not the cost for fourth quarter they can ask either for cost for fourth quarter which means 
the cost for this 10 units here they are asking the cost per unit which means we want to find the total cost for fourth quarter and we should divide by 10 then we can find the standard cost per unit in fourth quarter the other one is make a hundred quarter period who would up it up all one extra hatter dollar extra panha dollar a decay when I say what up in a hundred car to an appeal where method of the honey economy has any car to a cake a cake and a period in a mock up the noni has any car to a period of oil up in the home with a known it over a bit of a lot other in a car to a cake and a period of oil so here they are assuming this learning curve impact still applies the total method learning curve impact the team both happy again okay the second requirement calculate the standard cost per unit for the fourth quarter assuming the learning curve had reached a steady state so here the second question is interesting here they are saying assuming this particular learning curve impact is coming to a steady state okay we'll see at which point it's coming to a steady state so here they are saying peak efficiency was reached after the fifth unit was produced peak efficiency was reached after the fifth unit was produced so here they are saying after the 50th unit they are coming to a steady state which means their maximum efficiency or the peak efficiency they are achieving at 50th unit they can make the making any up here the calling kataka with it yala aduma kala kwarta karani panasini ekk had what a passi itening me hunter kali adukura garna bae a hey to hey to their man calling you are employees like a piece of physical capacity to reach you under a setting you had a kali are doing in a machine solar capacity to reach you under a setting you had a paladai to your garna bae today he to the kingdom make a steady state take a part in a panasini ekk in passi a thought mokka the winny panasini ekk in passi make a steady you know again a panahe in the head of the qua a can pan him passi panasiki in the head of the qua a peter in nika kalia because the particular learning curve theory is coming to a steady state here which means what you want to do then we want to find the 50th units time method is mokka the gran only Kilimo Hoyan Nabe, Apitone, Panasini Kiki Kali Hoyagatu, Panasini Kiki Kali Tama, Ethening Hat, Nitrama, Apit apply current Vinay, Ethening Hat is Tavarino, again, Ekaka Panahi, the Yaku Primipala Daita Vital, Ethening Hat is Tavarino, to Panasini Ekiki Kali, Apitari Vedagat, to Panasini Kiki Kali Hoyan Nabe, Kilim, Panasini Kiki Kali Hoyan and Mukad the Grandapula, Apitapulang, Extra, the Shagarana Pana, Ethopitino, Panahi. एक 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 ऐसे अनेक काले वैरी करना पाने हैं पाने हैं मूल्य काले हुए अन्न बोलूँगा सह हाथलिस नामिया आदेश कर लापिट बोला मुकाद्दे हाथलिस नामिया क्या दो याना सामान्य काले हाथलिस नामिया ऐसे अनेक मूल्य काले सो हाथलिस नामिया ऐसे मूल्य काले सह पनाह ऐसे अनेक मूल्य काले या तरविनस नामिया forget about this part B now in part A but they are saying they are saying 90% learning curve theory is applied okay method is see it on local learning curve theory at the end so so here what we can do we can use this particular formula y equals a x into the power b so b how to find learning rate is 90% log 0.9 divided by log 2 so we can find the b a will be what will be the a will be the time requirement for first unit it will be 10 hours so a will be 10 uh, then x x will be 50 and 60 cumulative units end of the third quarter 50 so we can apply 50 and we can find what is the average time for 50th unit if you are producing 50 units and after the fourth quarter our cumulative units will become 60 which means we can apply x for uh, we can apply 60 for x and we can find the cumulative average time for fourth quarter end of the fourth quarter then we can find the total time requirements so we can find the difference right okay we'll go to the answer so here you can see this is we are using formula method i said 
we can apply any output level in formula method it's not like the tabular approach tabular approach only applicable when the output is getting doubled but here we can apply it for any situation so here you can see uh, y equals a x to the power b so here we are applying 60 which means end of our fourth quarter so a will be the first unit's time 10 hours x will be the cumulative output 60 and b will be the index so how to find log learning rate divided by log 2 so it is it will be minus 0 0.152 using uh, try using your calculator and you can find this answer so here in this lessons don't listen to this particular lessons just take a paper and uh, pen and do the computations in your own use a calculator uh, once I'm explaining you try to do it in your own then only you will get understand this is not like other subjects so management accounting is very critical in your syllabus so try to do it in your own right so learning rate we can find it is given 0 0.9 and we can find the learning index by log 0 0.9 divided by log 2 so here we can find b minus 0 0.152 so we can apply this formula y equals a x into the power b y equals 10 into 60 is our end of fourth quarter output into the power b so we can find 5.37 hours so this will be the cumulative average time if we are producing 60 units so if we are producing 50 units cumulative average time will be 5.2 5.52 hours so here 10 into the power in uh, 10 multiplied by 50 is cumulative output which means end of third quarter into the power b so just a uh, matter of applying this x if x is 50 end of third quarter our time requirement will be 5.52 per unit it is average time if end of fourth quarter here we can see our average time requirement will be 5.37 so here 5.5 5.37 after the third quarter we improved our performance because of learning curve right so we can find here if our cumulative output is 50 our average time will be 5.52 if our cumulative output is 60 our average time requirement will be 5.37 so we can find the total time requirement so 50 multiplied by average time 276 will come that is total time if we produce in 50 units 5.37 into 60 so 322.2 it will be the total time requirement if we are producing 60 units the total am i अभी 46.2 so this will be the time requirement for fourth quarter but in this question they are not asking that the question is what is the average time per unit in fourth quarter hatarani kaartu eka unit ekka dana kaalaya ahanne etoda hatarani kaartu odi yana samastha kalithama meka etoda hatarani kaartu api hadana unit 10ak so what do you want to do the time requirement for fourth quarter should be divided by the output of fourth quarter 10 units so we can find 4.62 will be the time requirement for one unit in fourth quarter so in fourth quarter we can see the time requirement for one unit will be 4.62 hours so here you can apply this 4.62 and we can find the cost per unit in fourth quarter so here our question calculate the standard cost per unit for fourth quarter Eka unit tech cost tech ho yaar na hathro ni kaartwe. So this is the standard cost format, the standard costing sheet for first unit. So now we are applying the same formula. 10 kilograms want change. Hathro ni kaartwe apega khedua kila tapita on lamae. Eka unit tech karo ni kilogram to nai. Kilogram dahaye. 
hadani karu api ekak hadawath api tone kilogram 10 ay so the same information will be there so 10 into 3 30000 10000 into sorry 10 kg into 3000 it will be 30000 now this is the important thing when we are producing one units our time requirement was 10 hours when now when we are producing first unit our time requirement was 10 hours now if we are producing 60 units what will happen in our fourth quarter our average time requirement will be 4.62 hours so here 4.62 hours 4.62 hours we can apply for both direct labor and direct variable cost other variable of it so here we can see 4.62 into the rate will be same 9000 4.62 into 5000 so here we can find the standard cost of a product in quarter number 4 අපි ක්වාටර් නම්බර් 4 එකේ හදන එක යුනිට් එක ස්ටෑන්ඩර්ඩ් කොස්ට් එක තමයි මේ එන්නේ සෝ 94680 will be our standard cost of a product at quarter number 4 clear clear right so what happen only thing is if you are producing the first unit our time requirement was 10 hours if you are producing now more than 50 which 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 means between 50 and 60 per unit average time requirement will be this much why between 50 and 60 for 10 units we need this much of time requirement that is computed here which means per one unit the average time will be 4.62 it is already concluded clear this is the answer for part a now we'll move to the part b part b is more interesting because they are saying the learning curve impact is coming to a steady state the peak they are achieving at 50th unit ඒ කියන්නේ 50 වෙනි එකකේ හැදුවට පස්සේ එතනින් එහාට කාලය අඩුවීමක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ 50 වෙනි එකකින් පස්සේ මේක ස්ථාවර මට්ටමක පවතිනවා ඒකට හේතු දෙකක් මම කිව්වා එකක් මේ ශ්‍රමිකයන්ගේ ධාර්යතාවයට ළඟා වුණාට පස්සේ උපරිම ධාර්යතාවයට සහ මැෂින්ස් යන්ත්‍ර සූත්‍රවල උපරිම ධාර්යතාවයට ළඟා වුණාට පස්සේ එතනින් එහාට කාලය අඩුවීමක් වෙන්නේ නැහැ ඒතර 50 වෙනි එකකේ තමයි යකි හොඳම කාලය ඒතර 50 වෙනි එකකේ යන කාලය තමයි එතනින් එහාට 60ක් හැදුවත් 70ක් හැදුවත් එහාට වලංගු වෙන්නේ right so how to find the 50th units time or 50th units cost so that is in interesting so here the same formula we can apply here what we did we applied 60 and 50 and we found the fourth quarter cost so to find the 50th unit cost what we can do the logically we can apply 50 for x and we can apply 49 for x apita karanna puluwan ekka deyai thiyenne apita puluwan එක්ස්ට්‍රා පනහ සහ එක්ස්ට්‍රා 49 ආදේශ කරන්න. එක්ස්ට්‍රා පනහ ආදේශ කරොත් මොකක්ද දෙන්නේ ළමයි? 50 වෙනි එකක එකක පනහක් හැදුවොත් යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය. එතකොට ඒක එක පනහක් හැදුවොත් යන සාමාන්‍ය කාලය අපි කලිනුත් හෙව්වා. It is 5.52. So what we can do we can apply 49 for x and we can find what is the average time requirement per unit. So if you are producing 49 units average time will be 5.535 if we produce in 50 units average time requirement will be 5.520 which means this is the average time requirement this is the average time requirement so we can't take the difference between this two it is why this is the average time requirement mithanadi kiyanne mokadda eka eka 49ak hadawoth ekak hadanna yana kaale mithanadi mokadda kiyanne eka eka 50ak hadawoth ekak hadanna yana kaale etoda apita mokadda karanna puluwa අපිට ඕනේ 50 වෙනි ඒක එකේට යන කාලය. So how to find? Why we want to find the total time first. So what we want to do 49 should be multiplied by average time. So we can find 271.2 50 should be multiplied by 5.520 it is 276. So the difference between this total time here you can see if we produce 49 units our total time will be 271.2 if we produce 50 units our total time will be 276 metane thiyenada lamai api eka eka 49 ak hadoth mulu kale yanawa 271.2 ka 2 api 50 ak hadoth apita yanawa mulu kale 276 ya e kiyanne mokadda me 49 ak saha 50 ak hadoth me kale wenasak enni ai 49 ina 50 ta eka 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 ya e kiyanne 50 weni eka eka කාලය වෙනස වෙනවා 4.8ක්. ඒ කියන්නේ මොකද්ද මේකෙන් කියන්නේ? 50 වෙනි ඒක එකේ සඳහා යන කාලය එකක් හදන්න 4.8ක්. 
you can see between this 49 and 50 the incremental units are 1 here you can see between this 276 and 271.2 the incremental time is 4.8 so 4.8 hours required to produce our 50th units that you need to understand so clearly you won't understand to produce this 50th unit you need 4.8 hours after the 50th unit there won't be any improvement in your time which means it will come to a steady state steady state which means the 4.8 will be your maximum time that means after the achieving the learning curve benefit this will be the maximum situation which means this is the best option for you which means after the 50th unit there won't be any improvement so this is the improved performance so 4.8 will be continued for the rest so 50th unit time in is 44.8 so we can use this 4.8 for your further quarters so this will become uh, this will be achieved after the end of quarter number three so end of the quarter number three 4.8 will be the our requirement per unit I thought happy panasini came pass it Again, it's only called to our son in pass a KK Kadani Yanakali has tried this matter. Mokota Pina Panasini came pass a Kali Stavar Venema. You can a three hat a hatred smarta. I had a summer hat. I got a win in a hatred smarta matama. A up is steady state take cut a villa. The end. So we can use the fiftieth unit time for the rest. So fiftieth unit time is four point eight hours. So four point eight hours we can apply for. Our fourth quarter as well. Theo na the thoda me 4.8 teka abita hathore ni quarter ekada thius karana polwa. So here, this is the standard cost per unit of a product in fourth quarter if this steady scenario is applied. Theo na me steady scenario ke apply karo hathore ni kaartu ya hathar ni ana piriya ek unit teka me gaana. Ek ani hathore ni kaartu ya apy ek unit ta khedhuot apy the ana piriya tamai. Anu Hadai Desama, Dekak the Haswelling, Rupia Linkinona, Anu Haddas this year. So you won't understand that if you are producing one unit in fourth quarter, our cost will be 97,200 if this steady scenario is applied. This is if steady scenario is applied, which means after the 50th units, we are coming to a steady state. In the previous question, 94,680 is the average the cost per one unit in fourth quarter if learning curve theory is applies which means we can get the further improvements make it again learning curve theory ka theeddi ena apita pirivey adu karagena yanna puluwang anu hatrai desama hayai atai namuth metanadi anu hatrai desama dekai hetuwa panahin passe ay improvement ak wenne na clear all right so this question i have marked as important question so yeah, I have put a stomach so you try to solve this problem in your own if you can sort out this problem you are ready for the examination in this chapter right now we are coming to the final part of this chapter relevance of learning curve effects in management accounting what is the relevance so why this learning curve theory is important in your management accounting so now you understand what is the learning curve theory when it applies what are the methods that we can use tabular approach graphical approach and algebraic approach now we are going to the practical application of this particular learning curve effect so where we can use so calculate the marginal cost of making extra unit of a product so we can use this learning curve theory for this particular purpose what is the purpose we can calculate the marginal cost of making an extra unit of product we can find what how we can find so here in this previous question we applied 249 and 250 for x and what we found we found the cost for 50th unit or marginal cost of 50th unit so it is easy to find the marginal cost 
using this particular formula. What is the formula? Y equals ax to the power b. How we can find? Just we want to find the figures for x. So output is 100, output is 200. If you want to find the marginal cost between 100 and 200, what we want to do? We can apply 100 and 200 for x and we can take the uh, y values for both scenarios and we can find the total time and we can get the difference. So easily we can get the marginal cost or marginal time for extra units of product, right? So the, this is this example you already did right in previous example, it, which means for the to find the marginal cost or marginal time or marginal resource requirement, easily we can use this formula or this particular learning curve theory and we can find the answer. Quote selling prices. So obviously to quote our selling prices, we can take the use of this learning curve effect. Previously we did some questions. To prepare realistic production budgets. To prepare realistic production budgets. What we can do? We can use this particular learning curve theory. So if you are without the learning curve theory, we can take a lower production budgets. So if we consider the learning curve theory as well, means what we can do, we can get more production outputs so without let's say without learning curve theory we are get expecting 100 output but if we consider the learning curve theory carefully obviously we can expect more than 100 why there is a learning curve theory obviously the output can be 105 106 whatever so this increased output as a result of learning curve theory so to get the realistic production budgets we can use this design more efficient production schedules so after producing this production budgets, we can decide efficient production schedules to decide over times and all. We can consider about this particular learning curve theory. Prepare realistic standard cost for cost control purposes. Yes, obviously for cost control purposes, we can prepare realistic standard cost. Otherwise, if we are not considering about the learning curve theory means we will say for the first unit, we need labor cost 500. So the second unit, we need 100. 1000 for 13 we need 1500 likewise we will do a straightforward computation but for the labor it's not like that it should be more realistic for labor it should be more realistic for therefore we can incorporate learning curve theory into your standard cost compute computations as a result what we can do we can have a best con best cost controlling we can have a better cost controlling Now, the cessation of the learning effect for reasons for steady state. We will talk about learning curve impact and the steady state. We will talk about the steady state. We will talk about the machine efficiency. We will talk about the capacity of the machine. We will talk about the improvement of workforce capacity. We will talk about the we can production cap, uh, cap, uh, machine capacity ka game up with a human resource you know, capacity ka physical capacity ka, a capacity ka reach card of a set of efficiency ready current bear glow so go slow agreements make a villa a rapport of a key game and a tongue near meter clear party party to come back to me again they will meter in the mocha devine employees la in kcm खाली आदि रहती है ना एक यूनिट टेक करो आप ऐप आह करना है हमें एक एक ना ऐप आह गाने करना है इतने यहाँ पे आप वैध पूरा वैध कराना है बाला पड़ोत्वी नहीं है इतना मोटिवेशन नहीं है एक यानी आकुलों टम वैध इतने दिन इतने दिन मोटिवेशन नहीं है नतीयावस्था वाक सो हियर वी कैन सी थ्री सिनारियोस if they reach to their physical capacity, maximum physical capacity, they, thereafter we can expect any further improve, improvements. Go slow agreements. If the particular employees are working according to their agreement, so they are not uh, improving their performance. So if, let's say, to, for one unit, they are estimated five hours. So for second unit, to produce two units, they take 10 hours, which means for each unit, they need they take five hours. So they, they, there won't be any motive to 
improve their performance so those are go slow agreements go slow agreements so obviously they will take that estimated time so they, there won't be any improvement so at this at that situation or workforce capacity reached their maximum capacity or machines are reached to their capacity levels the learning effect will be ceased clear so either they can ask this is reasons for steady what are the reasons for steady state so the, these are the reasons for steady state which means thereafter there won't be any further improvements in my, my previous question after the 50th unit time won't be reduced so in this previous question time won't be reduced the time will be 4.8 because after the 50th unit it came to steady state me udahning pahadile karanne eka tama ekata hetu tunak api den katha kara man kalin slides lat meka deparatum parak explain kara finally the limitations of learning curve theory so what are the limitations so we learn about this theory how we can apply in management accounting what are the practical benefits we can get so now we are going to talk about the limitations so the first limitation is the learning curve phenomenon is not always present so this is not always practicable right why if there are three four employees or there are 50 60 employees we can't assume that each and every employee will be work in the same manner because person to person their behavior pattern is different their attitude is different so this phenomenon is not always present or this always not practicable so the this uh, this learning rate we are computing based on our previous experience means it anu was it as work in a capital who are going to partner experience by the color of the idea of it and I get it in the middle of the way some of the idea of any net it assumes stable conditions at work which will enable learning to take place so stable working conditions we are assuming but in practically it always not present which means the stable conditions in your work environment won't be there for this practical con conditions in your workforce won't be same in always which means uh, today <coughs> we, I have these facilities the electricity is there uh, other facilities are there but tomorrow it can be changed day after tomorrow it can be changed so we can't expect a stable condition in your workplace so if we can't expect a stable condition means we can't expect a stable rate we can be better than the person it even has come at you know that the learning rate that can answer the media so why does that get in the better than the net thought a key learning rate again as you know in the Peter I had to need in a parser parser it in a sadhak when it's not a comma learning rate that capital star or the regular for help me around the bay in the beginning of making this is not only spectacle and some examples are labor turnover एक उदाहरण तो मैं लेबर टर्न ना होगा क्योंकि ना आधे इन सेवे को हेटे इन न तं एक वे नष्ट ना होना आय लेबर रेट टेक न तं लर्निंग रेट टेक वे नष्ट ना आधे इन सी या इन नन सेवे को सी या में इन नन तो आउट उठ देगा टेक ना अभी तो पुलवान लेबर रेट टेक एस्टीमेट कराना आधे इन नकाटे हेटे वे अदरोड़ा हेठ अंदर का राय के लिए क्या ना मोटिवेशन ना कभी बाला पड़ता ना अभी पैर ना बाला पड़ता ना मुद अभी हमें सेव क्या गेम में ये का बाला पड़ता है ना बे सो इट इस नॉट प्रैक्टिकेबल सो हियर वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग अ मोटिवेशन ना मंग एम्प्लॉयज बट सम ड्यूर द प्रैक्टिकल लिमिटेशन इट वांट � or worker will forget and learning process will have to be again uh, will have to begin all over again so if there's any breakdowns between this process this learning curve impact will be stopped so again we want to start from the beginning so if there's any breakdown in your working process because this employee will forget about the process then we want to start it all over again the method 
පත්තියට වැඩ නැහැ මේ වයිරස් සිටුවේෂන් එක හින්ද එතකොට මොකද්ද මේ එම්ප්ලොයිස්ලා ගොඩක් කාලයක් ගෙදර ඉන්නේ එතකොට එයාලට ප්‍රොසෙස් එක අමතක වෙන්න පුළුවන් නැත්නම් කලින් කරපු ස්පීඩ් එකට කරන්න බෑ නමුත් ආය ආයතනයට ගියාට පස්සේ ආය මුල ඉඳන් ලර්නින් කර්ව් ඉම්පැක්ට් එක ගණනය කරන්න ඕනේ නැත්නම් මේ මත මැදදී වෙන බ්‍රේක් කුණ පොයින්ට් එකට ලර්නින් කර්ව් ඉම්පැක්ට් එක අපිට ගණනය කරන්න බෑ එතකොට අපි කියනවා ලර්නින් කර්ව් ඉම්පැක්ට් එක තියෙනවා නම් ආයතන එක වැඩ නතර නොවී අඛණ්ඩව තියාගෙන යන්න ඕනේ හදිස්සිය හරි බ්‍රේක් ඩවුන් එකක් ආවොත් මේ ඉම්පැක්ට් එක අපිට බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන්න බෑ ආය මුළු ඉඳන් පටන් ගන්න ඕනේ එතකොට ඒකත් එක ලිමිටේෂන් එකක් සෝ දිස් ආ දි ලිමිටේෂන්ස් ඔෆ් ලර්නින් කර්ව් තියෙන සෝ ද මෝස්ට් ඔෆ් දි ලිමිටේෂන්ස් ආ ප්‍රැක්ටිකල් ලිමිටේෂන්ස් බට් තියරිටිකලි දිස් ඉස් අ ගුඩ් ඇප්‍රෝච් so in your exam these are the exam focused areas where what are the areas that uh, this learning curve theory can be linked so obviously the variance analysis question or labor uh, the variance analysis question obviously they will uh, the examiner uh, will link this learning curve theory to your variance analysis question for your uh, labor variances so that is one key area or oh, either they can link this learning curve theory to the pricing decision pricing decision so if your pricing is based on the cost at that point there is a impact from this particular learning curve theory because if the learning curve theory is applies your standard cost will be get change if your standard cost is get change it means your pricing is will get change and for your budgeting purposes when you are anticipating about your future when you are pre- preparing forecast when you are preparing your next year budget you can take the use of this particular learning curve theory so most probably for the flex budgets they can link this particular learning curve theory for flex budgets so those things you can capture on the, uh, this respective chapters right so i am come to the end if you have any questions on this particular chapter please come back to me so i will help you out how to sort of uh, these problems so don't waste your time in your home Uh, take this uh, as your uh, opportunity to learn uh, so you cover up your missed lessons so you work out at your home so this is a good opportunity for you so obviously in future there will be lot of um, job vacancies for chartered accountants so on the other hand there will be a higher fight in the market to get a job as well because of this crisis so it is your responsibility to work out in your homes so don't waste your uh, don't waste your time at home work out for past paper questions listen to this kind of online sessions and uh, go through your study texts and ready for your examination so good luck stay safe i'll uh, come to you from next chapter